What's up guys? We just got to Mexico. First things first though, we just got to the airport. And whenever you get to the airport, when you're in Mexico, you stop and you go to the bar right outside the exit and you get a beer. Starting the trip off right. It's our two year anniversary. We're here in Mexico doing the Cabo thing for the week. It's a typical life. Can't beat that. Just got to the Pueblo Bonito. We are here for the next six days. This is like one of our favorite resorts by far. This place is absolutely amazing. They greeted us right at the front. So cool. Last year we were here for our anniversary and we came back for our anniversary, which is tomorrow. A lot of things, but first things first, we gotta check in. Okay, well they just showed us to our room. This place is amazing. We love staying here. They have a- I love chocolate. Welcome back. Happy anniversary on the bed. Oh, cool. It's awesome. They are they so have, great. They, they're so great to us. They have a bottle of champagne, some truffles. We have, you guys see this. This is probably one of, the, one of the coolest things. I think I talked about this last time when we came here, but they have a pillow menu. So you can get firm, non-allergenic. You can get soft feather. You can get firm feather. You can get orthopedic and we can call our butler. So when you're here at Pueblo Bonito, you, and you're in the towers, so this is the towers. When you're in the towers, you get a butler. And when you have a butler, if we need a pillow, we call him up and he said he'll run up here with a pillow. It's so odd to us to be like calling on someone to like do things for us, but you know, that's part of the experience here is having your butler, having someone help you out with what you're doing and setting everything up. If we want to go to dinner, he sets it all up. So it's a pretty cool experience. Rachel's over here, you know, getting her story game on. All right, so now we're going to the private area that's only available for the tower, peeps, which is us, because we're in the towers. And what it is, is like a little room they have like- They have wine and cheese, let's go. They have wine and cheese. Out there today, we are doing the hook and cook. That's what we're gonna go do right now. So we're gonna go fish and then catch something and then eat it. Here, I'm gonna let this, this gotta unfog. When you travel places like this, camera gear always fogs up going from air conditioning back into the humidity and then back out to the air conditioning. How do you feel? I'm a little hungover, <laughs> if you really wanna know. You're trying fishing. <laughs> Drank a little too much last night. A little slow this morning. Once the water, we lock in. I'm gonna try my luck at fishing here. I don't know, I haven't fished in a long time. Rach, she, she might, she might, we'll see. Definitely a pretty morning down here. Unfortunately, we did not catch a fish. Last time we were here, about a year ago we caught a fish, but this time no luck. It is what it is, it's the luck of the catch. Didn't get one, but they still brought out some fresh fish and we had some ceviche, so that was delicious. We're gonna go get a workout in, get some breakfast. I don't know where the day's gonna take us. It's a leisure day, so that means just chill. 
Okay, so you gotta see this gym. It, it's the new gym here, and it's pretty amazing. They have like brand new equipment, and it's like a nice big space. Rachel's, you know, getting her booty workout on, like brand new everything. Any type of cardio equipment you wanna do, you get a view of the ocean. Gym's done. Next stop, breakfast. just hanging by the pool here, making friends. This resort's awesome in that we've met tons of friends, tons of people, and we've just been hanging out with people all day. Now we're going up to the VIP lounge, which is up here, and we're gonna go get sashimi, some more tequila. I mean, it's just like, it's never ending. way to go see the turtles. The turtles this time of year are hatching and because of the lights of the city the turtles tend to go inland towards the city instead of out towards the ocean where the moon glimmers off the ocean waves. And what they do is they do a turtle release where they get all the turtles and then they release them and they do it down here at this beach uh, where the Pueblo Bonito sits. So that's what we're doing. We've been to Cabo so many times on this week but we've never seen the turtles get released. That's it for the turtles. That was cool. Never seen turtles being released into the water. It's a cool event. I mean, especially, you know, they do it right here on the beach for the hotel. Just in time to go get another margarita. VIP lounge. I, we always end up back here because we're the only ones that end up using this. So there's a whole bunch of all that ceviche and everything. Nobody's touched, so we're gonna eat some of this. Maybe we'll go find dinner after a drink up here at sunset. We've never been to the Pueblo Bonito Sunset, which is the hotel right up there. I mean, you know what? You got Mexican, you got Asian, you got it's almost too many Italian, choices. you got too many but choices. We are, but we are in Mexico, and I'm a Mexican, not a Mexican. Therefore, Mexican. Hey guys, what is up? Good morning. It's another beautiful day here in Mexico. Day five. Day five. Well, fourth full day, but day five of being down here. So the waves are insane this morning. We've been up in the towers lounge, just kind of hanging out, having breakfast. Rachel was doing a little workout and we had to come down and get some photos because this is crazy. I mean, you're, I've, ne I've never seen them this big down here. So we can go explore the beach a little bit.
Club Obonito is definitely one of the best resorts we've experienced on our travels around the world. If you're looking to get spoiled while relaxing on an untouched beach, then this is a spot you have to check out. We're definitely glad that we spent our anniversary here and got a chance to relax on this beach for a few days.